Hello guys, welcome to Inside Electronics. So in today's episode, let's do a complete review of this PAM8403 audio amplifier boats. Let me show you guys this one. This is PAM8403. This is a 6 watts stereo class D amplifier. 3 watts on each channel. And it has short circuit protection. It has thermal shutdown features and everything built into it the data sheet claims that this thing has more than 90 percent efficiency on a 4 ohms 3 watt load so let's test it out but before testing let me just tell you i got this for a bargain deal in fact actually i got five of them for less than a dollar it was a flash sale on banggood i think it was a flash sale with free shipping. I got five of them for less than a dollar. So because it's free shipping, it took almost one and a half months to get it delivered. And right now, and the interesting thing is that one of them came bad inside the package itself. Out of the five, and if you are surprised, where is the one remaining one, which is over here, which I just wired for the testing purpose. So this one, right out of the batch, it came broken. It was not me that made it bad because I tested it using uh, the test points, not soldering them directly. So I used the test points to actually try it out and it was not working at all. It was making some sort of noise like some weird uh, static noise and something that the input is not being amplified. I tried uh, resoldering, reflowing all these joints and everything, but nothing worked. Let's compare its size. It's just the size is much like this is, a, this is an Indian rupee, two rupee coin right there, and that's the size of it. That's how small this is. Now, this thing is actually uh, a textbook circuit. The entire thing you see here is actually from the datasheet itself. I will link the data sheet in the description down below you can check it out you can download it and also if the deal is still available I will link the five for a dollar package in the description you can check it out so now let's test it and I, I'm going to pause because I want to get everything ready for testing purpose so guys this is the test setup that I'm using I'm using two Sony 8 ohm speakers right here this is uh, Sony 8 ohm speakers so this thing is designed to operate on 4 ohms 3 watt load with 90% efficiency but it can drive 8 ohms load but the efficiency will be dropping and also this can be used to drive 2.7 ohms load also those speakers are kind of old but we are going to test it out anyways so for the power supply I'm going to use the cheap power bank that I'm having and I have the YouTube copyright free music load on onto the cell phone. Two speakers attached to it. Actually, let me show you guys this. All it needs is 5 volt at the input, it has left, ground, and right audio inputs. Left channel over here, right channel over here, and that's it. That's all the connections you need, and that's exactly how I connected it here. So I'm going to play a music right now. As you can hear, it is making a decent quality sound. Let me just increase the volume. Right now I'm talking right next to the mic because otherwise you cannot hear it. So uh, let's actually measure. Okay. surprised because this thing, has, this thing is really really loud for a speaker for an amplifier that the size of a coin it really is sounding really really good in fact 
You know what? Let's measure the power del uh, power draw from this thing. I'm going to pause for now, okay? So right now I have connected my uh, USB power meter over here. Now let's test it. Keep in mind that I'm testing it in an, an, on an 8 ohms load, which is not recommended for the standard test procedure. It is recommended to use a 4 ohms load, but I will soon test it out. Right now I'm on the lowest volume possible and the song is now playing and as you can see it is not even recognizing anything happening over here. Let's test it. I'm gradually uh, increasing the volume over here and as I increase the volume right now, even at normal listening volumes, it is not showing up anything. Now it's showing around 80 milliamps. I'm increasing the volume right now. It's, to, it's now 80 milliamps consuming. And right now it's on. It is now on the full volume that my phone can deliver. This is the maximum volume. This is the maximum volume my phone can deliver. So as you can, as you just saw, the meter once got a point of up to one amp of current at full volume. That's on an eight ohms load. So let's now test it out on a two point seven ohms load. Right now I'm actually impressed with the sound quality of it, except at the full volume. At the full volume, the sound quality seems to be degrading, but that has to be expected for an amp of this uh, size. It's 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 you know it's really good. So right now I'm going to test it on a 2.7 ohm slot. So guys, now I have connected it to a 2.7 ohms test load. As you can see, the speaker size is much smaller, so I cannot increase the volume beyond certain point because of course it's going to distort the sound. But and also this uh, amplifier is not designed to operate on a 2.7 ohms load continuously. But it can still drive it, but it's not recommended for a continuous use of operation. If you want to do that, you have to use a heat sink on it because on a 2.7 ohms load, it is going to drive, it's going to require more current. So uh, you should definitely consider using a heat sink with it. Now let's start the test. I'm going to play the music at the lowest possible volume, which is this. And notice over here that. It is still doing nothing, so I'm going to gradually raise the volume. 20, 70 million, 80 million, 110. Right now, I'm on half of my volume, and on already on my half, already on my half volume, it reached one amp of current. So I'm going to increase the volume to full right now, and let's watch. Yep, it, as you may have noticed, this has scored a maximum of 1.1 amps on a 2.7 ohms load. But the sound it will be much more distorted because you have to consider the size of speakers and also it's only uh, of 2.7 ohms. You have to expect the distortion far more sooner than the other speakers. So it has scored 1.1 amps on a 2.7 ohms test load. Now let's test it on a 16 ohms speaker that I'm having. So guys, I was not able to find my 16 ohms speakers and that is because I thought it was 16 but in fact it is, if you look, focus, uh, if you look closely you can see it is a 25 ohms speakers. It was not 16 ohms that I was thinking. But keep in mind this was not at all designed to operate in this kind of loads. This is a really uh, what to say, this load is considerably negligible because of the high resistance, not a lot of current is going to flow 
and of course the power will not be anywhere near what it can actually produce so I'm going to test it out let's measure the current I'm going to start at the lowest volume as you can already see nothing and I'm going to raise the volume right now now um, this is the maximum volume and of course it's that is the maximum volume of what it can do and as you can see it just went 350 milliamps max that's because of the higher resistance of the speakers so uh, I, I don't think of using these with this anyway so let's say this is done and now let's move on to the proper 4 ohm speakers that's the final test that we are going to do so I'll be back so guys <coughs> this is the final setup right here this is these are two forums speakers and by the way if you have noticed this was the world's cheapest portable speaker back in the day you can watch the review about it by clicking the i button up there but right now i have taken away all the circuits it's now just a speaker so right now this is the proper arrangement for this this is a for these two or four ohms three watt speakers so which is the best arrangement for this and now it has to give 90% efficiency according to the uh, data sheet so in this setup we can increase the volume because that is what it is designed to do and let's see how it performs so it's let's start by the lowest volume right now that is the lowest volume right there And now it's doing around 20 million. Let's boost it again. Clock 200 right there. It's the maximum volume right now. And that is the maximum volume of what it can deliver. And I think it took almost hit 1 amps of current at the max but the issue is that if you have noticed unlike other speakers even at my uh, full volume it is distorting the sound oh that's it that's 1.2 amp 1.22 amp consistent for the moment so far we have achieved the best current that it can output it, it took 1.2 amps out of it that is the best that is the maximum of what uh, happened in all these tests but the sound quality is significantly distorted maybe it's because the arrangement of uh, this setup right here this box arrangement it's creating a lot of harmonics uh, com uh, compared to this one which is just an open speaker so the harmonics is low or there is no harmonics at all so one last test which is going to be taking away this cases and we will call it done I'll go, i'm going to take apart the case and we will play some music after that and that will be our final test run for it so guys now i have taken apart the cover let's play it once again and listen how good it is right now So that's it confirmed it is not because of this it is also because of the resonance between the case and this speaker but also it's because of the poor quality of this particular speaker in fact this is not creating that much distortion as this is creating so guys that's it we have tested all different setups we have tested a 25 ohms unusual load a 2.7 ohms under under load and an 8 ohms and a 4 ohms acceptable load test and so far I can actually tell you that this has performed really good in all those tests except at the full volume because at full volume it is we have to expect some compromise you know at full volume there is no way the sound quality is going to be good but so far the tests have proved that this is a best 
amplifier for low volume low uh, cheap applications so yeah i hope you enjoyed watching it thanks for watching see you in another video please support me by subscribing to this channel